break it down. <laughs> break it down. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. We are literally three days away now from Harley Davidson's Dawn of the New Era 2024 edition launch. I can't wait. There's some. There's just been ton and ton of stuff coming out. I did a video maybe a few days ago talking about uh, the post that Harley Davidson had posted on their Instagram pages, showing us and letting us know, hey, listen, there's gonna be a Pan America CVO. Yeah. There's gonna be a, a, a Rogue Glide CVO ST model. Mm -hmm. The new Street Glide, the new Rogue Glide, and it's like boom, 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 boom. It's like this is a lot of information. I kind of, you know, we did a quick little video. Um, it's 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 a lot. It's still a lot right now. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about a little bit of that. We're gonna talk about what to expect this Wednesday from the launch, which is gonna, if you're not yet subscribed, go to the Harley Davidson website, um, follow the instructions so you can get the notification to watch that this Wednesday. It's gonna, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be epic. Um, but I wanna talk about what, to, what, what else can we expect because they did say and more. And more. So could we be talking about a, a brand new model? Could we be talking about some old models Bronx. Revert, <laughs> re, re, resurfacing can we talk about the Bronx which would be a great amazing yeah. uh, 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 I doubt it but I yeah, doubt that, it that, that would be awesome um, so let's start first with the breakdown what, what first of all what did you think about them releasing all this information a few days before the launch I think they kind of had to because I think stuff was leaking out mm -hmm. so they kind of had to hedge their bets and put out like okay this is what we're definitely doing Okay. So, plus it builds excitement. You know, you can't keep everything so hush, 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 because in the years past, the last couple ones, we everybody's been disappointed. Mm. Like we sit there and we're all like, yeah, 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 and then you watch and go, really? I just wasted twenty minutes. On my well, I, th I think for the twenty three launch, um, they, there were quite a few people that they're disappointed because they, there was, you know. Well, we were waiting for what came in July. Not yeah. What, not what came back in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, amongst other things. Um, but 24 seems to be... Uh, it seems to be starting off pretty good. Big, and I think they're going to be making up for that. I hope so. Um, what, what do you think about the... What do you think about the Pan America? You're getting a CVO option now. I got to see what it looks like, but I'll tell you right now, I'll never buy another Pan America again, especially after... But yeah, you, 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 you were a Pan America owner. Uh, but is it me, or do you feel like the Pan America is just like, I don't know, the Pan America came out, what, two years ago? 21. 21. We're in 24. So yeah, so almost, three. Yeah, almost three, 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 yeah, three years ago. 21, 22, um, 23, probably 24 years. It's crazy. So in, in that time, it's like the Pan America came out. It was this whole big hype around it. The mm -hmm. company, like, threw other cards at it. They put all their eggs in a basket. And then it was like, out of nowhere, it was like, well, I felt like there was no shine, no lit, no no light shining on the Pan America. It's like, they forgot it about it. died out, yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's like, they, they, they rolled out this amazing product. I'm a big fan of the bike. Um, I mean, I know, I, you had, I, I know you had your issues with it, but, it, and then out of nowhere, it was like, they just forgot about it. It, yeah. was, it was forgotten. Mm-hmm. Like the company was like, oh, well, well, the dealers don't even want to you know? bother. Yeah, I mean, I, I know they have a lot of things happening, a lot of different models releasing, and this, I, it was the, the CBO of last year, the remodel, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of stuff happening, but it was like, it was kind of like shoved in the drawer. Yeah. It was like, all right, we'll come out with it and just put it back in the drawer yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. and it was just left there. So I don't know. I, I think now the Pan America getting like a CBO option is like, why? When there would have been, there would have been a better option. I think the best option would have been the low rider ST to get the CVO. Yes. So it would have been option. like the El Diablo or whatever, or even like a, even like the the breakout C or do a breakout CVO again or a Fat Boy CVO. Nah. 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 I, if you think about the hottest Harley Davidson in the market, what is it? The ST. ST. The low rider and the low rider ST, the most popular mm -hmm. bikes, right? So it's like, why the not those bikes? has kind of lost its shine a little though, too. I don't think so. Don't Dude, think it's so. someone like hotcakes. Are you kidding me? It's, it's know. you know, and, the, and don't forget, the Lowrider ST is literally the Lowrider S, yeah. you know? But it's, you know, why why not make your most popular bike the CBO option? You know, give that bike. That, I, I think, me personally, right now, that would have been the best option, that. Oh, you know? yeah. Even a Roking. I know a lot, and a lot of people have been mentioning, oh, oh the Roking, oh, the Roking, we've Roking. Been, yeah, I've been asking for a Roking yeah. CBO for years. I, I think that, that would, would that have been I would awesome. probably buy. You know? 
But the Pan America getting the CVO option. I mean, besides right now, like ooh, I don't, I don't think know. I'd be able to put a bigger engine on. I would even just slap a bunch of parts on it and paint job. I think it's gonna be paint job, bags and bullshit like that. Paint job, maybe a little more tech. Maybe the screen might be different. You know, little CVO options here know. and there. You know, it, it doesn't really like, oh my god, the CBO Panamera goes like, all right, cool. Yeah. Plus, it all depends on how much you're asking for. They're asking 30 something thousand for it, forget about yeah. it. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a different few little different options here and there. Yeah. But it's like, I think there would have been that there's there was a few better options I think they could have. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, okay, so Pan America, boom, that's out. Um, the Roguelide CVO ST, that's pretty cool. Like, what. It's got like king of the bagger stuff on it. Now, 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 here is my thing. We got a, and it's a long title. Roguelide CVO ST. Yeah. So, so th does that mean that the CVO ST is only going to be the ST model now? Or is it going to, are we, if you want the ST, you can only get the CVO ST. I'm thinking this year it's only going to be CVO ST. You don't think it's going to be a street line CVO uh, ST model? There's going to be STs this year. Damn, it doesn't make any sense because it's going to be overlapping. It's going to have the whole suspension. Like It's supposed to be like a king of the baggers bike. Yeah. So like a, a racing bike. So why would you bring out something lesser? Yeah. Even though there's a price difference, people aren't going to want something with a solo <clears throat> seat. Like you want, you want the racing look bike. I think that that was the biggest thing when they came out with the ST models where um, myself and a few other people, I mean, I like the look of the ST model, like what they yeah. did with it. But I think the ST being the performance bagger oh, short it felt a little short i think it should have had more per, more parts more just, more performing yeah. parts mm -hmm. more more just you know it just a little more to it i, th I think they they felt a little short there when it comes to the look yeah. and and performance wise at all you know i mean the the, the bike performs well so it should have had an uh, inverted fork from the front out from, from the beginning yeah i think that should have had bigger that. brakes with the better brembos yeah yeah, I agree on that. And, uh, and the, the piggyback shocks, I think it should have had better stuff. Yeah, it should have had that. Yep. And not that stupid solo seat that was on there. And the bars, like, it's a performance bike. should have T-bars, not freaking whatever the hell those bars were. I agree on that. Yep. So it, it should have been close to what... Your bike is. My bike is, or any other performance looking bagger out there is. Like, that. That that's what that bike was kind of trying to emulate. It was that trying look. to emulate that, and it was trying to emulate the king of the baggers race. Yeah. You know, race bike. So, it doesn't look anything like a king of the bag. You put that next to the king of the baggers, doesn't look no, anything no, no. like it. No, but it, it it should have been something more more closer to what let's say my bike is. And my bike is still like it's still in the works, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it should have been something more closer to this. But you know, it, it's they, they they need to leave space for the imagination, I guess, as well. That they don't yeah, want to be everything out. Yeah, but if you're calling it an ST, you want it to be. You're not. It's not like performance driven. Yeah, you want it to be performance driven, not look like you know, like a like a you know. Like a half done freaking performance bagger. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Agreed. So no. No no ST model option, do you I think? I don't think so. Alright. Twenty twenty three. We had and once again, because I know we had this discussion a few miles. times. We had the standard. Let's yeah. just talk about Roguelike. Standard, special, ST, CVO, and then you know you could I guess you could throw the Anniversaries, though? No, the, the, the Ultra in there. Oh, yeah. Limited. Yeah. All right, so that's five. That's five. That's a lot. That's so, too much. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I don't know. I mean... I think they should cut it down and make it more... Like, you can do more options with less models. Like, say you want to get certain things on it or whatever. I think that they should have more options from factory... Yes. ...in order for you to order the bike. Yes. You know, so... Like if, a car. yeah. Like, I, like when you order the Corvette, you can get different trim levels, you can get different wheels. You can I mean, in, in a way, these are kind of different trim levels. They're different models. They're calling them different models. You can make it one model and different trims. Yeah. But it, it, it's it's a lot to choose from. It is a lot. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it might be safe to say that maybe for this year... I mean I, don't, I, I, I mean, I don't want to say that either because the ST models sold so well last year when it came out. But then this year, if you're, if you're going to take that out of your niche and it's like, all right, well, now if you want the ST, yeah, you only know. have this one option, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could go either way. It could, they, they, they could just keep the regular ST models, 
But then when you have an STCVO, it's like, well, let's just kind of make this bike even more special. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not give the consumers another option to pick from because now exactly. that's another one. Yeah. So they, yeah, I mean, they, and I think it would affect the CVO ST sales if they had another ST. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think, yeah, I'm, I, it, I might be safe to say that ST models this year, maybe for this year, are going to be gone. Same thing with the standard thing. Standard, too, you think? Well, maybe. because you know what it is? They're switching fairings and they're doing the dashes and they're going to have to bump the price. So if you're going to bump the price, you might as well just leave it at the special price. Yeah. Yeah, and and which, which, black which I want to go into that next. But before we uh, go there, last thing, let's go into the pricing of the CVO ST model. What are you thinking? I'm hoping 45. Wait, hold on. Before you answer that, remember that the 23 CVO was around $42,000. So maybe like a few grand more. Do you think of 45? I'm thinking 45, 46. Not 50. <clears throat> I'm thinking 47. Depends on the paint jobs. I hope they're not doing a six grand paint job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Between 45, 47. Yeah. And then you'll be options yeah. and stuff like you'll that. You'll be out the door like 50. You know? well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and now that they let us know, hey, new street glide, new road glide, now we can talk about. The model is like, all right, well, is there going to be a standard, I don't special, so. ST? I don't know. I think it's going to be the special. This is going to be the... But I don't know if they're going to call it just a special, or they're just going to call it Road Glide, Street Glide, and then Chrome or Black Option. I think so. I, I, I think they, they, they might keep it that way. Like mm -hmm. keep it special? Yeah, and, and, and get rid of the standard option yeah. and just offer you Chrome or Black. Yeah, because you had 23000 for the standard last year, and then twenty nine for this or 28 27 27 so you have four grand difference or whatever so if you had to put the new fairing and all that stuff you're gonna have to bump the other bike up to 25 it doesn't make any sense yeah, it was around 29 because my, my 21 was yeah. 27 yeah and what you call it was 29.999 yeah, ST yeah, yeah. or whatever yeah that's why i say they're too close in price to yeah you're, you're you're muddying the whole waters you just make it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I think the standard might be one yeah and then it's like one engine for everything well It'll be like one, I think, one seventeens. Well, for 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 like the regular, the special, the special, just say, just and then the VVTs are in the CVO. The one twenty one, the CVO. Yeah, because yeah. you're paying extra. For yeah, it. so you're gonna have two two engines. Two engines, yeah. Which is better than four. Which makes sense. It makes sense. I, yeah. I, I think that they need to kind of consolidate everything. And too many engines. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. So we're talking about just. They might not call it a special, it just might be just red glide. I think just, yeah, road don't, don't glide confuse and everybody, glide. just call it road glide, street glide. Yeah, and that's it. It's a, it's a new dawning of a new era, so it's 2024, so just road glide, street glide. Yeah. No special, no ST, just that just and CBO. One model. Yeah. That and the CBO, yeah. Black or chrome option, and that, mm -hmm. that's what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Which I think is fair. And a few paint shops. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I just hope they come out with really I hope they come out a lot of paint. different color options. Yeah. You know? I'd like to see some colors and not some banana yellow or... I mean, yeah, I, I do not want to see that red rock. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. It's ketchup. I, 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 ketchup. I really hate that red rock color. <laughs> kind God ketchup. damn ketchup. I haven't seen it in person. You have, oh, right? Dude, yeah, it, it's ketchup. Yeah. It's it's ketchup! I don't like it. It's like this. There's just so many uh, I like awesome that red line red. Out there. I like the red line red. Which is the red line red? It's kind of like your helmet, I think, isn't it? Red line red is, is the one that was on the, street, on the street bottom, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I, yeah. That, that's, that's a really nice color. It's kind of yeah. like... This but brighter. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we spoke about the Pan America, CBO, the regular models now. Um, now let's talk about and more because they, they, they said and they emphasized and more. Da, 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 da. Yeah. What do you think that can mean? Do you, do you think well, that can I hope the and more comes out now and not fucking July. <laughs> I know. But, that was the biggest. But, but do you think that could be a brand new bike? I think so. Yeah. They got rid of the Fat Bob, so <laughs> maybe a new soft tail <clears throat> or... How about a new bagger? Nah, I don't think a new bagger. Don't think so. Like, how, how about you know what? Let's just throw a curveball at these people. Can you imagine a here's red, a brand new, here's a, a brand Rev new Max bagger. bagger. <laughs> you know, like a what? A Rev Max bagger. No, no I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. Gonna, I don't think they're gonna be that crazy. Not yet. Not yet. Well, well, it's coming, but a Bronx. not yet. You know what I like to see if we don't see a Bronx, twelve fifty Street Fighter. Yeah, kind of like the FTR kind of deal. That that'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I, I think it might be a brand new model. I just don't. I just don't know what. 
Like I don't. I don't I Imagine mean, if they pulled out like a seven fifty or a five hundred or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. It would be good for beginners. Yeah, it's I mean, ten thousand dollar bike. I mean, I mean, you also have the Nystar for that, which is also cheaper. Hey, Jay, two thousand dollars. It's also cheaper, cheaper for twenty twenty four. The Nystar. Two thousand. Um, thank God I didn't buy one last year. I'd be pissed as hell. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be pretty. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed if I bought one last year. It's like, hey, I can get one for two thousand dollars cheaper. It's like, where's my, where, where's, where's my, my rebate money. check at? <laughs> That's what I want. I want my rebate check. Where's yeah. my money? Um, all right. So, uh, what else can we expect? We spoke about all the brand new models that they let us know that's coming out. Um, I, I really hope that the launch is very. I, I want it to be a little long. I, I want like, it to be more flowing, like more like yeah. excitement. Not like I, I, I wanted to, I want them to spend more time on the detail. I feel like, uh, for example, the never the anniversary color ones, like it yeah. was, it was just very quick, quick, quick. They didn't spend too much time. So I really hope that the launch, they take their time. They, it, it could be a little longer. The video, they go into details about about the bikes and and the details on them, and you know, different components. What makes it different from this? It's not just. Let's just go over it real quick and that's it, you know? Oh, I'm hoping, like you said, you brought that up. I'm hoping when they do the CVO ST that they explain what's on the bike. Mm. Like if it's bigger brakes, if it's <laughs> yeah, better suspension. That's what I'm talking about. That's okay, talking about. we went with this, we went with that. And, and we why? Could, yes. Why we went with this, you know? Not here it is, there it is, no. bye, see you. I, I, Here's I want, some clothes. I, well, I, I, want, I want to know, we went and chose these parts and why? Because of customer feedback, because you know? of king of the baggers, because of what we learned, you know, yeah, this yeah, and that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, they, uh, the Hardy team, like, they, they disclose a lot of information. Like, when we go on these trips sometimes, uh, for, for these press launches in the past, and, you know, we're able to ask a lot of questions. Yeah, but they and don't do that on the videos. In the videos where they, they should kind of, you know. It should be longer than 20 minutes, light. but it also has some substance to it. Yeah, a little, little more, a little more substance, I agree. Um, what else can we expect? Um, I don't know, man. Like we're, we're gonna have to just sit back and relax because we're two or three days away. And yeah, I, I mean, I'm, 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 me personally, I'm really excited for this year. I'm really excited. I'm dude. excited, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm gonna be let down again. Don't say that. LEDs, please have LEDs on. Although if they're gonna have the new fairings, they're gonna have LEDs. Well, right? yeah, that, that's. But LEDs would be nice on soft tails too. I mean, that's the 24 models are already. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's it, man. Too, uh, too late. <laughs> yeah, there's also still 107 out there. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah it might be the last year for the 107 on the, on the standard. Yeah, I would hope mm -hmm. so. I think so. Yeah. I think it might be the last year for it. Besides that, all the 2024 models are already up on the website. So you guys should check that out. Um, all the soft tails are still the same. Um, the Fat Bob is out on there, so it's going to be an option. Mm -hmm. Hey, and more? Could it and be more. a brand new Fat Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be a brand new Ro King special? That would be nice. Not Road King. A redesigned Road King? Well, plus the Icon bike, too. They're coming out with. Um, That's right. It's supposed to be like modeled after 49 or something. That's like probably going to be later on, though. They, they usually do That's icons, probably going to be July. Like or in the springtime. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I mean, I hope they don't just I'm, I'm trickle. I'm, I'm excited. I hope they don't just give us little crumbs. I'm excited, dude. Come on. I mean, I mean, for the past few years, the company's been doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, some stuff I'm not happy with, some stuff I Like know. what? What are you not happy with? I don't know. I think the way they rushed out the CBOs last year just wasn't... Like, I, I didn't really care for the fit and finish on the fairing. The paint jobs were horrible. You know, I'm just hoping that this year we get, you know, some good paint jobs. Praying for some good... I mean, I don't like the billiard, a lot of the billiard stuff. You know, I don't like that gray. That they came out. You don't like the red rock. Well, right? that that but that 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 billiard gray is a standard color now. I know. I'm not a fan. Standard color. Not a fan. No more black. I mean, there is black. There's pay. black. Gotta pay for it. You gotta pay more. But I'd like to see some nice colors. Yeah. Let's see. Any uh, and some and, you know, some like thought into the the. I mean, with the new style fairings, there's there's a whole new option of like different colors they could use now, different paint schemes. Yeah. Instead of the same old. I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're, they're I mean, still... I'm excited, and you know what? Maybe Wednesday I'll uh, I'll be more excited, or I won't. <laughs> yeah, we'll follow up. <laughs> I mean, that, that 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 Wednesday, guys, we're we're gonna be coming here, so tune in that Wednesday as well. Um, gonna have a video on the feedback on the launch as well, and then we're gonna be doing a different video as well, talking about going in depth into everything else. Um, so hopefully we find out some some big stuff. I hopefully mean, it's I'm it's, hoping it's some great news. Yeah. 
That's gonna be it, man. So if you wanna see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button so I notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. We also have some other stuff coming out. We're doing the suspension of this bike. Finally purchased suspension. Suspension is in. We're gonna be installing it this week. Um, also with the chrome lower legs and the, uh, the red fork brace as well. And um, there's some other parts and then some other cool stuff. I, guys, really, there's some awesome content coming in the next two weeks. Just tune in, subscribe. That's going to be it. Like always, at the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. That was pretty good. That was pretty good.